comic convention, comics that cost a lot. KNSD, News at 11. Hardcore porn, it's not something you'd expect to see at a San Diego comic book convention, but it's there, and some parents are worried that it's falling into the wrong hands. Lauren Krauss joins us now with more on this story that you'll see only at 11. Well, Roland, nothing is left to the imagination with these comic books on open display at the convention center. Titles like Young Lust and Bound and Gagged give you the picture. Many parents are shocked and want the comic books banned. Here's a story you'll only see at 11. Too, That's but they're right. not quite I'm, as sick as this, and I love it. <laughs> Wonder Woman, Catwoman, Lois Lane, she's not. She's Nightingale, the porn star of the Carnell comic book line. Everyone has a, a sixth sense to them, or dirty minds, or what have you. And they're putting it on paper, which is fantastic. And I think that's why people love to get up there and read and go, oh man, I, I wish I had a girlfriend that said that to me. Nightingale dropped by the downtown comic book convention to meet her fans. And there are plenty for the hundreds of hardcore comic books on display here. Books with pictures so sexually graphic and violent, we can show you very little. But porn comic creators say the more shocking, the better. Oh. People would say you were sick, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they could and they do. <laughs> It's, it's very raunchy. It's uh, probably the most explicit adult comic on the market. Parents like Dory Duff want that type of material banned. I, I don't like it because it seems like a comic, but it's, I mean, it's adult pictures, but be, in a comic book style, it's sort of aimed toward kids. At least at this convention, you must be 18 to buy or read these magazines. And while we were here, IDs were being checked. But beyond that, there are no laws banning the sale of sexually explicit comic books. The constitutional right to freedom of speech protects comic books to a large extent. Oh, Julian. Ultimately, parents may be the best form of censorship. In order for so-called obscene material to be banned, the Supreme Court says it must be completely lacking in any serious educational, artistic, or literary value. And according to First Amendment attorney Guylin Cummins, rarely is that standard ever met. Margaret so, Rowland? So none of this material has ever been banned? Well, there's one isolated case in Cincinnati, a group called Citizens to Protect Family Values, has taken a comic book line to court, but it's tied up in the courts right now, and that, you know, no decision has been mm -hmm. made as of yet. So right. it's very rare. Okay, Thanks, thank